Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Disgaea PC. The first game of many, apparently. Um, in between the last episode and this episode, I did do a little bit of research. I did learn that there are five different Disgaea games and I do plan- And so far, actually, this game seems quite interesting. I mean, it's about basically a young boy whose father has died and he's basically working his way up to becoming the new king of the underworld i suppose i don't know if all of the games take place in the underworld but let's not worry about that too much let's worry about it more when we actually get there oh pardon me i seem to be a little bit gassy today it's quite annoying if i'm being honest anyway in the last one we basically finished the rest of the tutorials and made our first character so i think that's pretty good um I will make sure to keep that list up and ready and active at my best time. So for now, uh, basically what I understand is is that we want to try and get as many kills with um, Asta, I don't remember his actual name, as much as possible. That way he basically gets more people to live inside his castle, I guess? But let's not worry about that too much at this very moment of time. Instead, let's just go right into it. Vyarius Castle, the Magnificent Gate. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that there's a bonus rank and times cleared and killed. So I am I guess that means that we can go back to these areas and fight and like grind and things like that. So I think that'll be something that I'll probably end up streaming at a point if we're like really behind and really need some like hardcore grinding. Because so far the game's pretty interesting to me. It's very anime-esque, which is good. I love anime based games i think this is actually a jrpg i'm not 100 percent sure but let's get into it stage start okay so let's look at the area um there are mostly ghostlies there's a red mage named keith which is nice kasuba ostella okay um enemy boost times three so do we know where the thing is Enibu boost time th races stacked significantly. Okay, so the I guess the plan is to All right, Lebec, I don't have any actual items for you. I do apologize. Lebec's going to lift this and I guess Okay. And then I'm going to summon Idola, and Idola's gonna move here. So the, I, my plan is, to basically have him destroyed. Okay, Laharl's going to be the front line, with Etna's Spear Lady behind him. Because I don't want to get too close, because I think if we do get too close, they're going to end up attacking. So, backline is going to end up being the prettiest. I did forget to give Lebec a um, healing item. So, a healing rod, I guess, to make her s stuff stronger. Mm. And then Planar is going to be the rear guard. Planar floats. I did not... I always... I did forget to mention that, but she floats. And that's honestly really cool, and... So far, my favorite character, she doesn't say a word, and she has a gun. I mean, <laughs> she has a gun, so you better watch out, is all I'm saying. We're gonna execute. Oh, I I guess you have to, like... Oh, this is stupid. Okay, so, can... Okay, so we'll have... Her lift and throw planaire that way. So then Planair can attack... Oh, Planair can't even attack the symbol? Oh, she's one space away. Can I... Can I... It's already executed. Nothing for me to do. Okay. Well, for now, I guess we'll just end our turn. They do come. Oh, no damage. Pretty alright. And he counters... I 
I do apologize for that. Um, I was just kind of knocking at my door, and I had to handle that. Uh, anyway, we're going to... I was afraid that they were going to do a thing, so... Let's have Panera attack the Geo symbol, and then just execute that. So then she gets rid of it. And then it changes, right? It doesn't do damage to them, but it should do damage to everybody else. Oh, and it speeds up, so that's good. And my time will be wasted. And then we'll have Lebec throw that. And then I guess we have to kill it again? Oh, Lebec literally took a butt ton of damage because she was holding it at the end of the turn. Can I have Lebec move? Yes, I can. Lebec, go over here. Actually, that was already executed, I suppose. And then we'll have our Prinnies attack this so that when we get over there, it'll do a thing. Attack. Chance of team attack. Okay, so can I can get Espirit or I can get Joker. Either way, one of them's going to die. And we'll have Etna attack that one. We'll have this Prinny go all the way over here and help out with that. And then we should execute and we should be good. I don't know if they'll be able to kill that thing, because honestly, them killing that thing would probably be really useful. Oh, I have one HP too. No, never mind. Wait, it didn't change? Oh, okay, it did change. It just does it at the end of the turn, I guess? That's a little interesting, but it won't necessarily bother me. The idea was to basically do this to get bonus combo gauge and at the same time get a butt ton of experience. So. Alright. And we'll just end our turn here. Oh, he's into that Brinny. Okay. Laharl's well, going to get all of the experience. And we'll just have everybody else move the front line. With our Spearman in the back. And Planair is going to be our basically sleeper agent. And by sleeper agent, I mean literally she's just going to run around and do the best that she can. Um, special. Can I just heal people? No. Okay, so I have to be like really close to people. Okay. And then we'll use our special. Heal. Can I heal myself? I can. And then we'll move this bad boy up here. Okay. That should be a pretty decent turn of events. I mean, healing yourself is pretty much what you need. <laughs> and then... End turn. Because there's not much that we can do at this very moment in time. They're very angry, boys. Don't kill my... my don't kill him, please. Don't kill him. Uh, and you killed him. You killed him. <sighs> you made me angry. You don't like me when I'm angry. You won't like Planaire when she's angry either. That was her favorite Prinny. And you killed him. You killed him and you, you teabagged his body. So. The plan is to have atta him attack Scotch. Or, or let's say Scotch. And then. Can you attack? move up here. Okay, let's see here. And from there, we're going to continue going, moving f the entire back line forward. That way, at the very least, we have some kind of backup if anything bad happens. I'm very sad that one of our printies had to go, but it's uh, with, hardly within my control. Oh, I destroyed it. Ah, I'm an idiot. It's supposed to be plus 50 XP, so when I throw it on there, 
it's supposed to do that, I guess. But then it's supposed... I don't understand how these things work fully, I suppose. Because I thought if I destroyed it, then it would give the thing. But then I guess not. But then I had to change it to blue. So I don't... I don't get it. I don't. Let's try that. Oh, a three-way. I'm into that. He should be dead now. And then... That'll just be the end of the turn. Oh, but you don't realize that both these characters counter. Why would you attack characters that counter? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, there was a guy hiding. That's why I was super confused. I didn't even realize. Okay. Okay, plein air. Can you kill this one? Can you just kill him like this? You can. I don't know if you can attack him from here, but we can try. Oh, we can. Lit. And the next cube. There we go. Stage clear. That wasn't so bad. Oh, oh so you get different... Okay. Okay. So based off of how well you do, you get extra bonus gauge. And based off of how well your bonus gauge goes, you get more items. Okay, so we're going to exit, and we're actually going to heal up. Because our little boy, he died. And I hope that he doesn't, like, stay dead, because... There we go. The next thing I need to do is figure out... Okay, equip. You didn't even have a weapon, <laughs> so... I don't know what the pop is. Is that weapon mastery? Is that what it is? And then I guess the best one out of them all would probably be either Idola or Carla. So one of them gets a Poglove. And this Poglove is better than their Poglove, I think, right? Yeah, this glove is better than their Poglove. Their glove. Okay, and then Etna. What's a, what's a common orb? What does that do? For magic users. Okay. So, so far, so good. I think we'll be fine with running with another one. And then just seeing where it takes us. So, I guess now we're inside the castle. Uh, yes, I think it's quite a nice place. It does look like it belongs to me. That gargoyle is basically having a blowhole being blown, so that's nice, I suppose. Oh, by the way, I do apologize if you guys hear a loud, like... I don't not, I don't necessarily know how to explain it other than a loud thump. Or, like, nails hitting uh, a glass. Like that. Um, my tortoises, they like to make noise. They like to run around inside their little place. His name's Bentley, and he likes to run around and basically make as much noise as possible. So, if you do hear a loud like hitting every so often, I'll do my best to edit it out however I may. But, I'm just forewarning you all that that is a thing. Well, I mean, yes, the vase would sell for a lot. Are you surprised? Look at that blaze. It looks like a wedding blaze. Well, I mean, is it really making you a petty thief if you take over the place? Because if you take over the place, then it's yours, and you can do whatever you want with it, right? And what? Because I don't know what, he, what that even means. Plunder everything, but you're an overlord. Isn't isn't like that your job? You know, I feel like she's just using him to become an overlord. Hey there, you atrocious fiend! Oh, so they are demon. I didn't even notice they had little demon wings. Or stitching, where their penguin bellies are. Blooded monster. <laughs> A demon among demons. Or are these our pretties? I think they're just gassing him up. They're probably just gassing him up. And then the leader of the castle is going to be like, what, what you doing, boy? And then he's going to whip it out, and then we're going to have to kill him. Aye, aye, dude. 
You go, Laharl. Okay, so... Oh, wait, we can use specials now? Blade Rush. <gasps> oh, that's cool. I don't know what it does, but... We're gonna start off with... So you gain levels by killing things. But you can't kill things without gaining levels. So, like, Lebec won't be able to, like, kill anything because she just has a wooden staff. I'll move my printies as such. Okay, what does this thing do? Defense plus 50% attacks plus one. And then defense plus 50% attacks plus one. His name is Guy. Guy Sensei. You go, Guy Sensei. You better not open up them eight gates on me, boy, because let me tell you, I am not interested in dying today. There are a lot of enemies on this area. Hey, Brittany. What we're going to do is we're going to send up Planair first. And she's just going to come in and be like, I'm going to shoot somebody in the face, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so Planair has this move. Now if I move up here, can she use it? And she basically kills everything really quickly. I didn't realize... They didn't tell me anything about specials, so I wasn't quite sure, like... A special Blade Rush? No. I go back one more. Lahara goes here, and then we do Blade Rush. Oh, attack zone extracted. There's no target. So we have Lahara move up here, maybe? And then we do a special Blade Rush. And then we hit things. Okay. I think we're just gonna try it. Because at this point, the best that we can do is just our best. And we'll send Bravo in this way. And attack that one. And Carla will go this way and attack this one as well. And then we have Idola attack this one, distract and attack this one. Because if they're idiots, they'll probably go for Planair. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I, oh, no, I did not mean to hurt you. Baby girl, no. I didn't think that that's what was going to happen. I didn't realize you could hurt your allies. I, I feel nothing but guilt. I feel nothing but guilt. Alright, Lebec. I don't know what kind of name Lebec is, but... Alright. Uh, Asta, the Demon Prince. We're going to chill. We're just gonna go up here. And... Planair's going to go behind you. So that should kill him. And then we'll have you help this help attack this one. And that should be the turn. I wanted to move her, but I wasn't sure if that would make her go out of range, so. Lit. Oh, and then they go. So that you get I love their team combos. Cause literally it's it's you getting dunked on. Like, there's no other way to properly express how cool that is than dunking on somebody. And then we'll just move everybody up. Uh, defense plus 50% and attacks plus 1. There's nobody here, but I guess I'll have Planair attack a Geo symbol. And then. You can't go any further, so we'll have her heal you. No, I lied. We will not have her heal you. We will have her move up and then heal you. And move you up. Because you're both countering units, so if you're in the front with the healer in the back, then I think we'll be okay, at least theoretically. 
Also, the bridge is very crowded, and it's not a very good idea for me to put everybody up here. They have abilities like Austas. I mean, Lebec. Not Lebec. Laharl. Le like, how am I supposed to remember Laharl? What kind of name is Laharl? Just heal up Brinny, because I don't want anyone else to die. They're countering units, so... If you do six damage, I won't be upset. Oh! <laughs> a counter on a counter, I see. Uh, Guy Sensei does a butt ton of damage. So, we're gonna watch out. Uh, Planare. Attack Guy Sensei. And. Etna. You know what? Actually. Okay, so... Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta move this boy. And then have her use her special. And then have Lebec heal her? No, she can't. But if I move this boy this way, and then have her move up one space, then heal her. That's possible, yeah? Okay. And let's just execute that. See how that looks. Masa gets a kill. Oh, that's so cool. You didn't get to heal. You didn't heal her. Lebec, you, you had one job and you didn't heal her. I'm very disappointed. And then we'll have one dude move up. And then we'll have... That's it. End turn. Let's see here. These, actually, we have a little bit of a better look at them. You know, honestly, they kind of look like Tokuyami from uh, Boku no Hero Academia. They kind of look like an orange Tokuyami. I'm into that. Now, we don't really have to move anywhere. For now, we should just focus on killing whatever we can. And let's try... Do you just not have any more MP? Yeah, you have enough for one more, so... And then... And then just move everybody up one more space. Alright. Let's end it here. Stabby stab. Oh, that's... Mm, so much damage heal, which is exactly what we need right now. I'm so glad I picked the cleric. And then, does he counter as well? Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, good. The more we use them, the better, I guess. So, now I know. Don't let anybody get in his way while he does the thing. Because that'll just lead to ruin. Okay. I know that the Prinnies can... I know they basically can't handle their own. I mean, they can, but they won't do enough damage on... Pardon me, on their own. So as such, we should probably just... Uh, do what we do best. Oh, he thought killing a Prinny was a good idea. Little did they know. Little did they know. My problem is is that I don't know if her summoning of uh, characters is going to affect the story at all. Only because I have this really eerie feeling that she's going to end up, like, betraying him. Or at least trying to. Because they're demons, obviously. And she seemed very, like... How do I say it? She seemed very... Um, worthy of being noted of for suspicion, I suppose, is what you would say. Basically, she crazy. She looked very suspicious. And I feel like one of the reasons why he... Why... Um, Le, whatever his name is, Laharl, ended up being forced into this kind of situation... 
where, you know, he was asleep for two years, was because of her. So I really... My actually... Um, special... Okay. So we'll move you. We'll move you this way. And then we'll move you up only one space, because that's, that's all that's necessary. And then Blade Rush. Then you'll just attack... Impaler, because why not? And that should be the end of the turn. That should kill him. And then that should kill him. Perfect. I try to do the best I could with everything. I love how they just end up dancing every time. It's great. I don't know how I could have gotten more bonus mage meter, but I suppose. Uh, before we continue going on, we do need to end up healing again. Now let's see. Get treated, and we'll just... Ah, oh, there's a lot of damage and a lot of MP missing. All right. All right, guys. Um, looking at the time. Looks about exactly what we need. So, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to leave a like. Comment down below the name of whatever character you want me to summon next. Because I think next video we might do some summoning. Maybe. Maybe not. We're not sure yet. And in the next one we'll go for further into that chamber of love. I'll see you all in the next one.